so we barely made it. There's just rows and rows. Taxa over here with the mantis. Let's check it out. There's the tiger moth we looked at over there. This one's pretty big. That's more like a. It'll pull out. Check these things out. So they're like an A-frame camper, but they they go the other direction, which is really interesting. Looks like they got a little cubby there. Like a whoop. Say hi. Whoa. Anti shanty. Look at all the headroom you get out of it. Sleep a lot of people in there. Lots of windows. It's pretty neat. Here we got uh, Kimberly campers. Kimberly? Yeah. Ooh, those are nice. Oh, they're a hard sided pop up. So it's uh, like the old pop ups where the whole thing. That's cool. So this is camp. They have like this induction or something. Cutting board in a little sink. Solar panel. Little porthole. There is an espresso in there. Yes. <laughs> That's the only way How to camp. Run? Only way to camp. Run? Off grid. Is it just like a? So it's it's a 100% solar powered electric camper. Okay. So we have a 400 amp hour battery that okay. that runs the Nespresso. But the Nespresso just plugs in like. Yeah, we just have we just inverter. Have straws from the to an inverter. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so okay. we have a we have a 3,000 watt inverter and then a 240 watt panel on the okay. back. Okay. And so yeah, so we just plug it in like you would at home. Turn on the inverter. Huh. Here I am. You're trying to sell me. I just want to look at the coffee pot. <laughs> there you go. Get the coffee pot. Imagine waking up with an espresso in bed I know. in the middle of the middle of nowhere. Uh. We just did a we just did a giveaway with the American Heart Association at the beginning of um, beginning of August. Uh -huh. and my whole like goal with it. So like a family rented like four day trip. They got two campers. But we flew out like these chefs that we know. Because my whole idea was like. Imagine waking up in the middle of Vita Vu and just being served like the best quality food. One of the guys <laughs> is a two star Michelin rated chef. And I was like, I've never had better food and I'm here, right? Imagine telling someone you're like, you're like, oh, I have this like pork tenderloin. And they're like, where, like, where was this? What, what, what restaurant? restaurant? Yeah. Like, I was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And like, and they're like, what? Like, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, it's not like now there's nothing there. It was just, but yeah. Cool. I like it. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. I like the uh, the induction stove on the back. That's. Yeah, uh, the, I I think the little sink is just. Yeah, a little, little teeny little. sink. Yeah. I'm not sure how much dishes you can, or anything you do in it. But, <laughs> oh yeah. You know, it's cute. It is. Yeah. We we're looking to change that to a uh, a little like foldable sink, so something that can like that can go in like compressed down, so it's smaller yeah, space. But then yeah, but then push out and then have like a little like one of those. Uh, I always forget what they call like the little faucet hose you have in your kitchen sink, right? Yeah, you pull out, yeah, yeah. so something like pulls out from over here, but gives us more room to actually like function. Yeah. So right now you pull that out and it just kicks up. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, so, it's, oh, it's like a little strainer, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, that's to catch all like your food particles and then the water drains out. We have a, a hose that connects so it can take like your gray water to a bucket or somewhere else and they take the food excrements and you can like throw them in your trash can and uh -huh, pack them out. Uh -huh. Makes sense. How long have you guys had this set up on the market? So we are we are a pretty new company. Okay. Um, November twenty nineteen. Your solar panels hold on. Oh, so so far. I wonder if they're here. Are they the vendor? Is the solar panel yeah. vendor so right the there? People, I'll keep looking. Oh, yeah. For them. There's a couple. Well, but they're, they're, he was they're, answering they're your at, question. They're at our booth. Um, their name is Nishadi. So they do all these little fold-out ones. They do all the expandable ones. Everything. Perfect. Um, they're a cup. So Merlin is the cell which is like a super big company uh -huh. as far as like solar is concerned and then the shoddy is the one that's brought it into like the consumer market into these like specific panels uh -huh. um right now they currently only sell to the military so like the marines and us the two guys that started the company like uh they're both like career military guys bob the guy who's not here was a i believe a colonel my brother was in the army and so he's telling me all about it he's like stepped down from like general they're like and they are the ones that make these, and they are like, I mean, they're the best that we could find. We spent a long time looking for like the right panel, not only to fit like the aesthetic that we like, but like the durability. Yeah, so, no, I was just curious how they, they're, yeah. how they are. So, and now, now I'm giving their speech. Uh, so yeah. I wish that he was here, because he knows it way better. Right? Yeah, that's them. Um, so these are their panels, and like the things that he was telling me, first of all, Right, like it's not a rigid thing. It bows and flexes. It's meant to be put on curves or any back of something. So they're way more durable that way. They're made out of Teflon. So they're like super like rock resistant things like hit them. It doesn't matter, like they're super good that way. But then also each and every one of their wires in there is at a slight kink, especially through their connection points. Yeah, and the point is for that, obviously when things heat, they expand and then when they cool, they contract. So it allows for that like temperature gradient to be like spread out ah. more easily. Like, so they're way longer lasting as far as that. So I was gonna ask yeah, how go. they did with yeah. heat because I know these flexible things. Most of them don't stand the heat yeah. very well. Yeah. And in Colorado, we've got a lot Hail. of heat. A Hail. lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, so yeah. Once again, like I said, yeah. I'm giving their pitch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're you're this pitch over here. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't let him do the tent thing. I don't want to climb the bed. Okay, okay. Just, I, that's just me. That's I was like, cool if you bag. want to do it, I'm not, I, I'll keep the camper. I'll sleep in the bed. You, you can, can go do. camper and, uh, yep, everybody gets uh, exactly what they want. Yeah, I like it. Oh, okay. Looks like it would fit on a Frontier, right? Yep, we uh, yeah. have deposits in on Frontiers and yeah. we'll be developing okay. this in the next couple months. Is that what you drive? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. You're, you're one of the only ones that have said it'll fit a fr something will fit a frontier. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to get pretty much everything out there fitted up because uh, yeah. Well, the new one they just you know That's they're right. going to dealers now. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm intrigued by it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is, uh, I really like the look of it. That looks cool. Pretty low profile, slim profile, and everything. Uh -huh. So what does one of these run me? The full camper yeah. uh, is for full size trucks. It's twelve thousand four nine five. Okay, little guy. For the mid size is eleven nine nine five. So oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. And that's all in. That's pretty much. Does that come with like the the metal hooky th like the metal thing? The little hooky things here. Yeah. It does not. These are accessories that you okay. can add on. But basically, like this one is. Yeah. It doesn't have any of those. Um, and this is, you get everything you see here in terms of the tent and the mattress. Uh, you I noticed the little options. panels. Is that so you can access if you're already set up and you forget something? Yeah, and basically. At least get back up. Yeah, that's how you can access. Okay. One of the ways you can access the bed platform. All right, guys, we found Escapade. So here's the, this is the new backcountry. It's a lot taller than I, whoa, yeah. Max. They got screen doors now though. Look at that. 
That's cool. I wish our doors had screen doors. So we got the new Escapade. Are you pronouncing it mountain or just MT10? We say MT10. Okay. Technically it's mountain. Yeah. So it's all uh, composite. They got these cool new windows that click out. Check out all these sweet cabinets. This is like the best. You got all the electronics in here now. Even with the um, air conditioner, there's a lot of storage space. We got the cargo box. They got Zamp solar panels up top. This one they're showing with the uh, ARB tent. Super nice. Oh, it looks like they got one of the ARB trash bags. <laughs> so they're still using the Elements fridge. But there's a lot more space. With this bigger door. Cool. Oh, it looks like they got the water thing up top. So, came up across these guys. Red Tail Overland. It's a hard sided rooftop tent. Crazy. Even has a fan. <laughs> Of course, it's not a giant vehicle, but looks like it's all carbon fiber. It's got lights and a fan. And they got their Dominic in there and everything, but oh, it's got glass windows. <laughs> oh, even the, like the back door is a glass window up there. This thing's crazy. So this is brand new. It's on got the market. lights and a fan and everything. It's brand new on the market. They just hired their first two new employees on Monday. Wow. And they sold 15 of them. Wow, already. Crazy. It's got like a door and everything. <laughs> Super cool. More either. TRD LOL. So all dogs off-road make suspension lifts specifically for the Frontier. That's a really nice Frontier. Anyway, probably get a lift from those guys. That's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Rock trailers. This looks like all composite. Maybe it's wood. It's. Huh. Some storage. So I know there's been a lot of videos of these, but these four wheel campers are pretty sweet. So they make them for a short bed too. It's their hawk. So they pop up, so you get standing room in the bed. I probably wouldn't do, I still gotta use the bed of my truck, but I think they're pretty cool. Sleeping areas up in there. So we got the new EV Hummer over here. Got a sweet little setup. suspension under there. It's LED bar all the way across the front. Tow hoods. Thanks, 
crazy looking. Big ass tires. This huge screen in there. Eleven thousand five hundred pound feet of torque. I think my Frontier has like two ninety one or something. I know I haven't shown a lot of stuff, but kind of just gone through the stuff that uh, I thought was pretty cool. First time being at Overland Expo, so when they come next year, definitely gonna check it out again. A lot of cool booths and things. Not a lot for Nissans, obviously. Maybe I'll have to get a Tacoma. <laughs> Don't want to say that out loud, but maybe with the new Frontier coming out, there'll be more accessories and things. So we'll see. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This was the Overland Expo Mountain West 2021. A lot of really cool stuff. You just have to kind of come and experience it and uh, you know there's not a lot of stuff that you'd like come and buy or anything you just come get in ideas some places have like discounts if you get their little card or sign up for their uh, like newsletter stuff like that oh there you go we got a lifted Subaru <laughs> Anyway guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. You know what to do. Anyway, we'll see you next time.